tonight on Big Brother. Cat, in front of you are two DVDs. The most devastating power play yet. This contains footage from your recent visit to the sanctuary. Cat's impossible decision. Everything comes at a price. Yep. <laughs> I thought as much. What happened in the sanctuary bathtub? I've let everybody down the bathtub. And how will Lawson explain it? I feel like I've just self-destructed my life, big brother. This is Big Brother Hotel Management. Hotel staff, it's time to get up. You have 15 minutes to get yourselves ready. After all, the Big Brother Hotel will not run itself. 15 minutes to get ready. We need coffee. Yeah. yeah. Coffee. coffee. It's coffee. I want some coffee. 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 Just a handful of coffee. <laughs> the hotel task continues, and after a tough week, the overworked staff are starting to go a little crazy. I want it now. <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> Oh no. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. Sam, Lawson, and Sandra were three of the five people nominated last night, and Sandra has taken it badly. Um, after breakfast, can I be in the kitchen? Because I really can't deal with them today. Mm -hmm. Certainly. I'm I'll having take some... your spot as concierge. I'm having some like serious. I just want to lay awake all night. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I did too. Good morning, nice madam. Look at you. Head of house cat had the nomination superpower, and Sandra wrongly suspects that she used it to put her up. Morning. Okay, not good morning. Maybe take a seat at the... Would you like to make a booking? Yeah, please. I did say feel like I just want to lie on the ground and have a tantrum like a 12-year-old. Just do it as nice, lay up on the bench. It's like, you know when someone's made it, it, you have like a running joke, like an inside joke, but like it's not funny anymore. Like... I know. Housemates, you know, the hotel is now closed. I don't think anyone's even cheer. We'd just be like, yeah. Yeah, we'd be like... Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it stop. my soul, but I haven't lost my sense of humor. Give me back my soul! Get it out my leg! I want it! Give me back my dignity! <laughs> that feels good. It does, doesn't it? Travis has been nominated every week, but he's trying not to let it get him down. I cannot escape nominations. I just hope to God that um, I am nominated against total different housemates, which means I'm, um, I'm a vulnerable duck, I suppose. This is Big Brother. Cat, to the power room. Head of house Cat is about to be offered another power play. It's the most explosive power play so far. Oh dear, oh dear. Cat. Yes, Big Brother. As head of the Big Brother house. Yep. It is time for your power play. Right. I thought I already made it in nominations, to be honest. I didn't realise there was much more to come. Big Brother has an offer for you. Yep. An offer which could see you gain a significant advantage over your fellow housemates. OK. However, Cat... Everything comes at a price. Yep. <laughs> I thought as much. In front of you are two DVDs. The first is marked Big Brother's Secret and contains footage of all your fellow housemates' nominations. Right. The second DVD is marked Your Secret. Yep. This contains footage from your recent visit to the sanctuary. Okay. 
Which housemate do you choose to take with you? Caddy, cat. I'm choosing to take Lawson. Yeah. <laughs> Last weekend, shortly after declaring she had real feelings for him, Cat chose Lawson as her companion for her head of house night in the sanctuary. Lawson has a girlfriend outside the house. Go for it. Age before beauty. <laughs> it it is so nice. Wow, well, oh, it really is. Cat. Yes. Here is Big Brother's offer. Mm hmm. Big Brother will allow you to watch his secret if you allow all other housemates to watch yours. <laughs> okay. Cat, as this vision also features Lawson. Yep. Big Brother will now call him to the power room. Okay. And you can make this decision together. Yeah. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Lawson to the power room. Lawson's just been calling to the power room. Please get her to cancel the task. I've got some goss. Lawson's going to the power room. Tell Lawson's her. got some goss. Do anything you can to get her to cancel the task. Did you hear that out here? Yes. Thanks, big brother. Hello. Hi. How are you going? Good. How are you going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, hey. You alright? Seriously? I'm fine. I'm a big boy. Big boy. Lawson. Big brother. Cat has just been offered a significant power play. Mm hmm. The decision she makes could affect your time in the house. So it is only fair you were involved. Sure. Cat, please talk Lawson through your dilemma. <laughs> Go for it. All right, so there's two discs there. I can see that. <laughs> Big Brother Secret contains anybody who nominated me mm -hmm. from the most recent nomination. All the nominations? From last night, yeah. Yeah, right. Holy yep. moly, that's huge. Or that one has footage from the sanctuary. And if I choose to watch Big Brother's mm. Secret, the housemates watch that one. Housemates, to help you decide, here, for your eyes only, is the vision of your visit to the sanctuary. And Australia. <laughs> oh, God! Wait. How long is this going to go for? It's like amazing in here. Look at the bathroom. <laughs> If you feel like you want to have a bath, I'm totally down with chilling outside. This is cool. <laughs> oh. You know why you get wrinkly? Yeah, the rip in the wet <laughs> is what I've been told. You remember what Katie said? Yeah. I heard it from Katie. An accurate one. I'm oh, not God. sure what I thought of you. What do you mean? You maybe you didn't have any thoughts. So I kind of like a goofy kind of funny guy. Someone else mm -hmm. into the into the into the what was it? What was it supposed to be? Sanctuary. Sanctuary. We haven't even done a body scrub or anything. I know. We'll do it. I think it was awesome. Yeah. It is nice just to relax. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm hard to relax. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather relax elsewhere. Definitely. We've still got a red wine though. I know. Right? This night's awesome. We've still got so long to go. I know. What time do you think it is? I think it's dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. 4.41. Oh, yes. Just on the, couch, on the couch. You are welcome to sleep on the other side of the bed. All right, I'll go and sleep. Afraid of the, the big bad bed? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> big brother. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. More like, like that. <laughs> oh.
Mm. He's right now. Personally, yeah. I think this is not even my call. This is your call. It's not my call, but it's completely up to you. If you'd like to see who nominated you, that's fine. Not that I regret it or anything, but it's a bad decision. Like, I made a bad decision. Mm -hmm. So, if, from your point of view, I wouldn't even want to see who nominated. Agreed. Housemates. Would you like to see Big Brother's secret and allow your fellow housemates to see yours? Uh, no, Big Brother. I think some secrets are best kept secret. Thank you, housemates. You may leave the power room. Your secret is safe. Thank you, Big Brother. Thank you. I'll give you one more hug for us, mate. Oh, we've got to put in all this situation okay. as well. There you go, madame. You can say it one more time. Age before beauty. <laughs> Have a lovely day, madam. Yeah, you too, sir. Thank you. So, what happened? Can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Good, bad. Can't really talk about it. Now you're fast to respond, big brother. How interesting. Lawson. I'm a bad person, big brother. I think that I've let everybody down. But I feel like I really wanted to make my mum proud. My mum died when I was 19. 19? 19. Sorry about that. That's okay. And she, how did your mum pass away? She um, came off a motorbike. Oh, no, so it was an accident. Like, an no, accident. She wasn't sick or... No, not sick. I'm... I've let her down, big brother. I've let everybody down, big brother. Mum um, once said to me that I self-destruct my relationships. I feel like I've just self-destructed my life, big brother. And I've embarrassed my partner or who I assume was my partner, my girlfriend. Um, and her family. Big brother. Yes, Lawson. Before we came in here, we wrote three things down on a piece of paper. that you were going to inform us of if they occurred. Yes, Lawson? My girlfriend breaks up with me, Big Brother. Well, Lawson, Big Brother has no news to report. You ready to the power room? 
I know. It's crazy in there. I'm not allowed to talk about what it went in there, though. <laughs> Trust me, it's nothing that affects anybody except for myself. Lawson, you bring fun and a lot of joy to this house. It's just that your parents are your, um, you're meant to be a reflection of your parents, big brother. I'm not a reflection of mine. Australia, it's your turn to hold the power. Go to jumpin.com.au forward slash big brother and decide who will be the next head of house. Get involved now and remember your decision will change the game. Next. Do I get an English lessons from an Indian? <laughs> no. Privileged guests not returning the favour. I'm not going to give them massages and do all this crap like it's just like, what, you're sucking up now? Sometimes you just need one of these. <laughs> Thanks, one of these to keep you chowing through your plums. <laughs> Thanks, brother. They're available four times a day. You've just used one. Hotel staff member Priya is also a teacher, and she's offered Travis and Aisha a lesson in the fine art of elocution. What does that even mean? Welcome. Hello. To our very own elocution activity that we offer at the hotel where our guests never lift a finger. What's elocution? Elocution is the art of speaking, the art of getting your sounds right, the art of pronunciation, the art of <laughs> get it, speaking English the way it is meant to. I don't know if you realise, but I think we're pretty sound on yeah. that already. <laughs> we're we already know good. We already know all our words. Let's go through a few things here, shall we? Okay. She sells seashells on the seashore. 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 <laughs> You're saying she sells uh, seashells. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> a little bit about the ter sound and the der sound. So when you say ter, where does the tip of your tongue? Where do we not look that tongue? Australian or? I'm not Australian. It's Australian. I'm feeling like it's not mind. Australian. It's Australian. 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 <laughs> Australian. So we get an English lessons from an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> I know, imagine the irony. And she's telling us how to say th. Yeah. yeah. I want her to say so? fish and chips. Fish and chips, yeah. Say, say I own six fish and chips shops. <laughs> yeah. I, I own six fish and chip shops. Keep saying it quickly. I own six fish and chip shops. Is that right? <coughs> Good. I own six fish and chip shops. I feel dumber <laughs> after this lesson. <laughs> Hey, can I just uh, ask that that is not talked about? <laughs> that is not talked about. Sandra is the staff member who's been feeling the pressure of the task the most. It's just like... I don't, know, I just don't even care anymore, I just want to go to sleep. You're just down. You're just really, really down. You'll get pumped right back up. Hotel guests are starting to think about what they can do for the staff once the task is over. We're a family, we've got to sit like a family and eat like a family. The moment we get back together, why should we sit apart again and no, treat ourselves true. differently? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We'll make sure that they get enough of everything that they want. We'll obviously and then, serve them yep. when they want a drink. Feel free to ask us at the table, we get up and get it for yeah, we'll them. Like, I don't think we should split ourselves up anymore. Yeah. They always had one family dinner. Yeah. 
can't wait for him to go to that room so we can listen on the intercoms. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Cause it's actually a hard task. You gotta be right to listen to that. Yeah, exactly. And I, I swear to you, once you just let all these tears out, you're gonna feel so much better. Like crying is not a sign of weakness. Crying is letting the pain out. Is there anything else we can do for this dinner we're planning? Anything else we're missing? Uh. In between dinner and dessert, we can give them all little massages. For dessert? Oh, no, I want to give them no one a massage. <laughs> no offence, I think the dinner is enough. Is enough? It's a task. I know. <laughs> Charlie. Well, what? Yeah, I totally agree with you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting give it massages and all this crap like it's just like what you're sucking up now oh yeah so you know what i mean you might be an idiot i can hear everything he's saying what's he saying i'm not gonna give him massages i'm not gonna suck up to him after this the turd of a human man he's yeah but i'm not yeah it's pretty much done after this my yeah. friendship with him yeah i'm gonna actually go up to the diary when we have another get room? it out <laughs> huh right get it out right yeah. 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 I guess I feel like that last comment from Travis just pushed it over the edge. I don't think they realise. I, know, I mean, I know that it's been hard for them as well, but I don't think they realise how hard it's been for us. <laughs> I'm hating these five. <laughs> <laughs> but just like, I can see everyone struggling and see Sandy so upset and just... No one even asked her, acknowledged that she's crying. None of the best. Right. I don't agree with what Trav said, like, you, you know, if someone's crying, you've got to be a bit more sensitive, a bit more empathy. The guests don't know it yet, but they'll be asked to vote for the best staff member who will win a $3,000 prize. And some of the staff think Jason has been acting purely for the money. Like, he's just going on about his, like, come on, guys, just get on with it. I'm like, man, come on, Sandy's outside crying, she's obviously clearly upset. You're out there making, like, extra food for her right now. Why do you think he's doing that? Yeah, yeah for three cases. Yeah, three reasons. Three Oh, yeah. Beth Who said it? L. Mm-hmm. He said he's doing it for three reasons. Quickly. I looked at him and I said, three he's reasons? Coming. And then I got the joke. Don't let that frazzle you. No, 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 no. At all. No, 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 no. Yeah. I can tell you now, if they publicly ask me for my opinion, mm. I'll give it. Mm. What will you say? <laughs> Everyone's acting childish. There are people in the world who are starving. We've been born in one of the luckiest countries and we are complaining over what? Coming up. Do you think people will go back to normal once it's over? No. What do you mean, no? The hotel walls come down. I just wouldn't do that because I know I wouldn't have done that to them. This is not a real hotel. We're supposed to be your friends. To save Lawson, call 1902 559 or SMS Lawson to 199 To save Priya, call 1902 or SMS Priya to 199 to save Sam, call 1902-55510 or SMS Sam to 1995599 or vote on Facebook. How are you going? Horrible. I'm dying. Dying a slow, painful death. One of the hardest things I've ever done. Really? Yeah. To pass the hotel task, staff must not interact socially with guests, something Sky and Leo seem to have forgotten. Can't eat, can't train, can't sleep four days in a row. It's brutal. Told so you brutal. really aren't getting any sleep at all? No, Sky, we're not getting any sleep. Why? The lights don't get turned out. They don't even, lights are on, we're on cots. So we're not even on mattresses. The blankets are tiny and there's taps dripping all night long. 
Do you think people will go back to normal once it's over? No. What do you mean, no? I just don't think they will. So you think people are going to hold grudges? Boy. Hold on. Hi, darlings. You think people are going to hold grudges? Well, you guys certainly haven't made it easy on us, that's for sure. Are you being serious? Well, not a whole lot of sympathy. What do you, what, what would be sympathetic? Well, imagine you hadn't eaten properly or slept in four days. And that there was someone sitting on the grass who could get up and walk into their bedroom and get themselves anything they wanted. But instead of doing that, they made you do it for no reason. I'm trying to think if I've done that. Have I done that? Am I the worst? No one's really the worst, but think about that. Like, everything you order from us is in your mini fridge. If you want a bottle of water, there's a fridge with bottles of water in it right there. There's two sides to a story, right? And you guys want all this sympathy from us, but do we give sympathy to the starving African children who never eat and walk a hundred miles to get dirty water to drink? No. That's true. Exactly. So everything, it's all about perception and it's all about perspective. Starving African children don't really have anything to do with that. what's happening in the walls of this house, you know? Yes. It's kind of like a broader... He's talking. No, sir. Can I help you with something? What are you doing? Whoa! Huh? Don't talk. Seriously, Bob. We'll fire. Oh! Wow. How'd that what happened with that conversation? Wow. What happened? Can you fill us in? He just balls up. He's hey, like, who? Hey. Travi, oi! He's like, he's talking. And this guy's like, yeah. And he's like, we're going to fail. And I was like, just didn't say a word. And he's like, don't talk to them. Are you serious? I'm done with that kid, man. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So my name is Manuel, and today we're going to do the golf lesson. Of all the hotel staff, Jason I'm seems really to be the most on the ball. <laughs> This one is called putter. Yep. Okay. This one <laughs> is called club. Yep. Okay. Just have a feel of this one too. Oh, club. <laughs> okay. Now this one. Okay. So when you let me just when you swing in it, it's gonna hit people in the head. Okay. <laughs> you wanna swing it. Gotta be low. Be careful because you wanna make an assure no one is in your back. Okay. <laughs> this one is a spiky. Can you? Yeah. <gasps> this, this one is dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. This one is for the floor. <laughs> You're gonna push it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Push it in. Push, push it in really. I think it's concrete under here. <laughs> These ones not working right now. She asked me, she's like, why is everyone so upset today? And I was like, Sky, we haven't eaten or slept in four days. And I mean, you're not really making it any easier on us. And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, honestly? Yeah, I understand like the novelty was there. You can order soft drinks and all that. But once it was over, like for the first day, couldn't you see out the respect that you just wouldn't do that? Cause I know I wouldn't have done that to them. No. Is anyone else surprised with Aisha a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. It's just like, like lost. Like, are you? You? You're probably closest with Aisha. I you? am. I am surprised. Like, with like you know, like heating up her meal when she you know went off to do a couple of things, so the meal just got cold. Um, what else was there with Aish? Like, you knew we weren't sleeping. You knew we were eating. We were on stables, and you still have the audacity to make us take your meal back in and microwave it. Yeah. This is not a real hotel. We're supposed to be your friends. Yeah. We're supposed to be your exactly. partners. Especially same with Travi. Like we're meant to be your friends. You don't speak to anybody like that. This thing has been total, totally. It's gone way out of hand. Arms are bent. Grab it. Now go. Do it. Nice and slow. Okay. One more time. And this one. Okay. Very good, darling. This one. Can I have a turn? Yes, you may have a turn. Looking behind you. Then left. Left. Then right. right. Okay. Cool. So we've done this one. Yes, walk away dangerous. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the game. Uh, Go. Ready? Yes? Oh! Yay! Very good, yes! That is amazing! <laughs> Hello, Aisha. Hello, Travis. What do you think Aisha did to show you that she was keen back? Yeah, like, how'd you know, Trav? Yeah. 
I just liked her. Good one. Yeah, no, but how did you know she liked you back? I didn't. Suppose I just seen H. I thought she was amazing. Then I planted a big green okay, so... kiss on her lips and mm. she loved it. While hotel staff aren't allowed to converse with guests, it doesn't stop them from listening in. Trav goes, oh, you know, like, I had to try hard with Aisha. Like, as soon as I set my eyes on her, I knew she was the one. And, you know, I just flirted with her and it was, you know, blah, blah, making it sound so romantic. I go, yeah, the reality is, is well, I've had a go at Katie, so I better not go for Aisha too soon. Um, yeah, but she'd probably be the one I'd want the most. <laughs> Next. It was going okay, it was going real smell, and Travi thought he was in a real hotel. The hotel task results. Was it worth the pain? Big Brother would like to commend the hotel staff. To save Sandra, call 1902 559514 or SMS Sandra to 199 To save Travis, call 1902 or SMS Travis to 199 to save Jason, call 1902 or SMS Jason to 199 or vote on Facebook. Welcome to the class. Thank My you. name is Lawson. Hi Lawson. Hi, Lawson. Hi, Lawson. Hi, Lawson. Nice Hi, Lawson. to meet you all. This is the famous hula hoop class. The hoop goes around your neck like this. You give it a slight... Have you been and practicing? Go, ready to give it a nice swing? Go for it, it sir. It, That's it, 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 sir. Yes, I got it. Yes, look at this. He's going great. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Perfect. The next trick is the around the waist. So really give it a really give it a, a, a nice swing around, then sort of feel the move. Feeling the voice. A hula hey. So it's just around the arm like this, and then you bring in your hand like this and swap it over. And you can sort of bring it back and back. He's not character, Loss. Mm -hmm. How does he know how to hula? I like it. Look at David just deep in thought. Mm. Yeah. What do you think he's thinking about? Yeah, let's just imagine what he's thinking about, Sam. You go first. Did they butter my bread <laughs> with their fingers? Yeah. If Lisa stayed, I reckon I could have had a relationship with her. Mm he's -hmm. like, so, yeah, I really miss Lisa. Man, Tim was good. Ah, oh, ah, oh, is he not looking? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing. I'm just bored of these people. I just want. More people to... Th oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I made the nominations this week. Yep. Yeah. 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 So glad. No, I'm so, I'm so happy that girl thought I was hot. These mm -hmm. guys don't even know it. I want to do another webcam session. Man. I feel so good after that. I think Maybe I, I need to wax my chest. No, no I better not wax it. Oh. Yeah, right, 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 right. Maybe that is a good idea. Maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should. You just never know. Was shaving my beard a good idea? Oh, God, it's, it's tough to tell. I just really missed him. I just really miss him. Oh, what? No, oh, damn it, what was it? Where's my toes? Where's my toes? God, my toes look weird. Good evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a little small performance. We've been asked by hotel management to uh, perform a little song. So we came up with a little rendition. Yeah. It's called a hotel song. All right, so we might get you to put down your glasses and just sing and clap to the beat with us. Yes. Just to get easy involved. You came to our hotel on sunny Sunday because we thought it was going to be a fun day. <laughs> At first it was fun, but then it got old, but we still served your drinks up cold. <laughs> 
We cooked your meals in the kitchen, having lots of fun, but then we hated you for being in the sun. <laughs> It was going okay, it was going real swell, and Travi thought he was in a real hotel. <laughs> we ate lots of rice, we were up all night, but at least our guests still treated us right. right? <laughs> <laughs> Bridges were stocked from A to Z, took three days to see you didn't need me. <laughs> Sky ate chocolates from sunrise to sunset. It hasn't hit a figure. Just, Just yet. <laughs> the hotel where our guests never lift a finger. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we do. Do. Ah. Oh, 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 I lost the beat. I lost the beat. Can't believe I stopped it. And can we just say, from the hotel guests, we have thoroughly enjoyed and appreciated, appreciated yeah, everything well, you have done for us. That's a rich word to be using that last one, but we understand. But, uh, well, what did you want us to do? Drop down on our knees. I'm joking. Thank this you all for your hard work that you've yeah, done. I know it would yes. have been hard for you, but it hasn't um, gone unnoticed. You know, we had to play our part in it as well. You know, as in we. There's still a few we, things that all of us want to bring up with you guys as housemates and how we thought things were approached. Totally. Um, I definitely want to sit down and chat with everyone yep. on a personal level, or we can all sit down and discuss it because, like, you obviously can see that there's some pissed off people yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, happy to sit down as a group as long as it's yeah, one of the things sure. where we don't all start shouting over a top totally, of each other. Yeah, That's yeah. when we need a break. And the worst thing for us to be able to do is walk away from this because if this, if we walk away and we don't discuss it, this will be the groups yeah. in the yeah, house totally, from now on. Totally. Uh, the exhausting hotel task is drawing to an end, which means it's time for the hotel guests to decide which staff member is deserving of the legendary service award. The staff member you select will receive $3,000 cash courtesy of appliancesonline.com.au. Oh my gosh. Hotel that's guests, massive. you have a short time now to deliberate and announce the staff member you believe has provided legendary service. Wow! That's, awesome. that's good. That's a hard one. Wow, this is hard. I think we all know, though. So, for me, it's between Ryan and Jason. But, sorry, Ryan, I felt you were a bit flat, and I totally get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Just today, that's it. But I, like, really appreciate that you made it fun. Yeah. And you were super positive the whole time. But I feel like Jason never, ever, ever was flat. Not yeah. once. Like, you were amazing. I think each and every one of you have, has done an amazing job considering what's been put on you this week. It feels, it's hard sitting here and, and watching your mates struggle, you know, so I think the two of you making it funny f and light-hearted, I think you're my two um, leading men. So. Yeah. I reckon you all did an outstanding job, yeah. um, but the thing is, is that so many things would have happened behind the scenes mm. that we wouldn't see. So for that reason, on solely what I saw, which was pretty much when I sat around by the pools and things like that, Jason, you're, you're my standout because of the never breaking of character. Mm. Me, I'm just going to pick on purely who made me laugh the most, and that's Ryan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mine was going to go, he's going to go to Sandy because I know a lot of us talked about like the thing that actually made us feel like we weren't in the house anymore was the food, and I know yeah. you had a huge part in a lot of it. So I don't know what, how we actually go about this though. Do we just go majority or...? After a few minutes of deliberation, the hotel guests finally make their decision. There you go, Jason! Hey! Big mama get the money! This is Big Brother. Jason, congratulations on your legendary service award. Housemates, this week you all took part in the Big Brother hotel task where guests never lift a finger. <laughs> to pass the task, hotel staff had to provide a five-star experience for their guests. Housemates, the hotel restaurant ran like clockwork. <laughs> Maid service was very thorough and the daily activities were delivered with energy 
and entertainment. Yay! Yeah. Thanks, guys. Big Brother would like to commend the hotel staff. For their stellar effort providing hospitality to some very high maintenance guests. <laughs> However, at times, the five star Big Brother hotel looked more like a one star bedsit. We went into recession. <laughs> hotel staff resources became strained due to some very demanding hotel guests. <laughs> hotel management has no choice but to inform all housemates they have failed this week's task. The hotel is now closed. Well, that's still reason to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, all good guys. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Coming up. No offence, guys, but you were just being greedy. The staff revolt. You can't say, well, the food was amazing. Take it back and warm it up. Those things you're like, you just like eat it. Do this now, or are we yeah, bring it up the, the, the chat now. now. Yeah. All right. After failing the hotel task, the housemates have decided a debrief is in order. Well, I think what, what we want to do as people on this side is just every one of us has something specific they want to say either to the group or to a person. Yeah. So we're just going to go down the line and we just ask that for the time being, please just don't interrupt. Loss. From the very beginning, the only person we saw that would leave and go and get something was Lisa. She would go and get her own water. It never said in the rules that you had to ask us for the drinks. Instead of yelling, excuse me, I want lemon water sliced or whatever it is, we did it because that was our job. You still had a whole fridge full of things like that you were blessed with having. No offence, guys, but you were just being greedy. Like, all of you is like, can I get an orange juice? Then can I get a Sprite? Then can I get a water? Then can I get another Sprite? I wouldn't have done that. Like, I honestly can say that I don't think I would have done that. For me, I was like, I was a bit shocked. I was like, my friends are asking me to do this. Do you know what I mean? And I know it's just a bit of fun, but it just got to the point where I was like, are you guys serious? Like, it was one request after another. And I was just, to be honest, I was just a bit shocked for, by everyone. Also, Aisha, I think you shocked me a little bit. Like, we cooked the roast and, you know, we served it all up, but we, you know, we had things, people were doing stuff, you were getting changed, getting ready. Um, when you came back, you wanted that meal like heated up because it wasn't hot enough, which is understandable. I know, but like when it's the end of the day and we, you know, we've been on our feet all day, those things you're like, you. just like, eat it. We've just cooked you dinner. Yeah, like. I just like, can I say like, to be honest, like I'm I'm wrecked. Like I'm seriously wrecked. Like I've felt emotional. Yeah. I'm, I'm a dude. I don't even get emotional about this kind of stuff. I was just going to say, I think for all of us that I think we just felt it because. As Lawson and Ryan put it, the room was tough. You know, the bright lights, a lot of us got less sleep. So I think emotionally, we're all feeling pretty low and pretty yeah. weak. For me, some of the comments Cavs made um, about the food and stuff really upset me. And then, I don't know whether you guys realise, but I've done every load of laundry that's been there yeah. since Sunday. I've cooked all those meals and I put so much effort in. And then on top of that, to get nominated and have put all this, like, effort in and kind of went, what am I doing wrong? Like, you know, I may as well just not try at all. You know, we were initially like pretty excited because we're like, oh, it'll be a change of pace. And then we got out there and we understood that there was going to be like a bit of back and forth. Like you obviously had a role to play and we all needed to contribute in order to pass the challenge. Mm -hmm. But that contribution wound up in the first few hours. It was like you, like you guys, like some of it bordered on like blatant disrespect. You know, like, you can't say, well, the food was amazing, take it back and warm it up. Saying it is amazing isn't a, isn't a yeah. buffer, it's not an apology, right? Like, we all gathered and just said, we just, like, racked our brains, and we all were just like, if it was us, we would have played along, but there's no way I would have ordered seven cans of drink in a day. Um, I'll just rebut. This is how I say it. I'm totally appreciative that what you have done for us, but the whole idea of this task was to give people a break, Try being up for eviction five weeks straight, no one coming up to you and giving you a reason why you're up for eviction, and then tell me how you feel emotionally. Yeah. Yous are up now, and I think yous are really seeing what it's like to be up for eviction because you think, what am I doing wrong? For 25 days, I haven't been able to relax because I've always been, is this my last four or five yeah. days? So I appreciate everything yous are saying, but if I could trade places to be 
doing what you're doing for two days, knowing that I hadn't been up for eviction once, I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was going to say, I'm so sorry to everyone. Like, obviously, we don't know how you're feeling at all. We, we really don't. And in all fairness, we, both sides sit back and they say, if I were in their shoes, I would have done this, this, this and this. But you just do not know. This is Big Brother. Ex-staff members, you may return to the staff quarters and pack all of your belongings, and you may return with your luggage Yay! to the main house as normal. Woo! I don't have the strength. You are free to move around the house as you wish. Travis. Big brother, what have you gone and done to the house? How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right, I suppose. Um, obviously, it's uh, a bit shattering to fail this week's task with the whole hotel um, thing going on. As hotel guests, we might see it as tongue-in-cheek, a um, bit of a laugh, but obviously the two days they've been put through it really grinded their gears, um, and obviously I acknowledge the fact that it was a bit disrespectful um, saying little comments like that, but... For the first two days, a lot of the hotel staff were embracing it. They were happy. They were, you know, playing along with it. It's very ironic that the day after some hotel staffs have been put up for nominations, that they all of a sudden go into a foul mood and a funk and are looking for sympathy and all of a sudden the hotel guests are the bad guys. Sorry, like, I don't know what, if we're all just going to bury the hot shit, but I got no remorse out of Travis, not, none. He was appreciative? Yeah. If you're appreciative, you don't say any of the words that he said, like, oh, no, that's, it was really good, but I won't give them a massage. I might, that might be too far, but apart from that. You've had two days where your emotions have been tested. You've clearly been cracked. Um, where the guests who need a break pretty much grow up, stop being childs. Ryan, how are you feeling about failing this week's task? Yeah, I'm bummed. You stitched us up, big brother. But I think it was interesting what, what you said. We, we had some hard guests to deal with, so maybe if our, if our guests weren't so um, high maintenance, then we, we may have passed, but I don't think they really picked up on that at all. And just for the record... It was your very high maintenance guests that stitched you up. <laughs> I know. No, big brother. I'm sorry, big brother. I didn't mean that. Maybe we should serve them up dinner. Some dinner. Yeah. And have a family dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. I know for the housemates it was such a tough decision. A house divided. All you can really pick it on is what you saw. Man, we would have crumbled if it wasn't for Sandy. Being a family again through the good times and the hard, don't forget where we've come from. We're all mates. Oh! Hey, I love that. The housemates are back together, but the divide is still being felt. Cheers, guys. Jason was chosen by the hotel guests as the best staff member, only after a decision that had to be made on the spot. You are now $3,000 richer. Yes. <laughs> I know for the housemates it was such a tough decision to like call who they thought but I was feeling pretty happy um, because again it was nice being acknowledged um, for the hard work and effort that you know you've done over the last three and a half days. I kind of knew it was going to be Jason's the whole time you know with the voice and all that kind of stuff like and he was super into it. The worst thing is but like you look back like even now I'm looking back it's even harsh for, to get us to pick when I reckon the food was incredible, but I don't know who cooked it. Yeah. Who was cooking? Like, I think Sky said Sandy, but I've seen Jason in there a lot of the time. Was yeah, it all totally. Sandy? Yeah. Nah, everyone did a little bit of everything, and that's Dave's really good point. You know, all you can really pick it on is what you saw. Yeah. You know, you don't know who really put the time in. I'd say out of all of us, Sandy worked the hardest by, like, a country mile. Did she? she did all the washing. She did, like, 70% of the cooking. She was one of the first ones up. She pretty much did everything. And we, like, you know, like, Ryan and, yeah, Ryan and Jason were sweet because they, like, m interacted with you guys a lot and, like, made jokes yeah. and were funny and stuff. But, man, we would have crumbled if it wasn't for Sandy. 
So yeah, and if, and if we were told that, I think a lot of people yeah, 100%, would have right? Yeah, a hundred percent. But you can't. You can, we can't blame you for that because you couldn't know. You can't see her. You know, you can't. You guys were asleep when when we were up doing most of the work that we were doing. You know, cleaning the bathrooms and doing all the laundry and stuff. Good evening, Priya. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I've had a weird day. Weird, you say? Yes, um, tiring, and then um, I think I'm overthinking everything. I'm missing home and family. So, yeah, a combination of things, really. I do feel, obviously, as you know, I don't have um, a proper friendship group here and stuff. So that does... Um, it doesn't bother me, but sometimes, you know, you start to overthink that, you know, are you doing things right? But I must be, which is why I'm still here. So that leads me to understand and look at the positive of it. But then sometimes you miss that comfort of home and family and husband. And, but I do understand that I came into the game alone and uh, I'm playing it alone. What do you think your dear husband, Bushan, would say to you at this moment? He always asks me to not stress because I stress a lot. And then it starts to take a toll on me physically once I start to stress emotionally. So he would ask me to just calm down and relax and um, start tomorrow with a smile. I was telling Jason yesterday that every time I speak with you, it sounds like I'm talking to my husband because I'm the one usually yapping and you're the one asking the branching questions and that's how it usually is in uh, our relationship as well. I'm, I'm the talker, he's the listener. So I don't want this to get to me though. Like, I'd rather be a lone wolf than not be anyone at all. So, yeah, that's there. <laughs> There's pedals! Yes! Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.